As President Hamid Karzai entered the White House for what appeared to be an animated meeting, both came with a long wish list for the other. As they met the press, each appeared to get a little something. For Karzai, control of the country's prisons, already promised, but not delivered. We agreed on the uh, uh, complete return of detention centers and detainees to Afghan sovereignty and that this will be implemented uh, uh, soon after my return to Afghanistan. The U.S. president was able to announce Afghan troops will take the lead in security sooner than expected. Let me say it as plainly as I can. Starting this spring, our troops will have a different mission. Training, advising, assisting, Afghan forces. Not answered, how fast U.S. troops will leave, and if any will remain after 2014. The U.S. president made sure to leave it an open question. If we have a follow-on force of any sort. Many believe that is the president's way of trying to force concessions from Karzai as they negotiate a long-term security agreement. Experts say it's unlikely Afghan troops will be ready to stand completely alone. Rather than having Afghan forces that are out there disparate, can't really su resupply themselves, don't have the kind of indirect firepower, air or artillery they need, there's going to need to be some of that retained in country you know, by the United States. But that's an open debate in Washington between the U.S. military, which is reportedly pushing for upwards of 15,000 troops, and the Obama administration, which will likely look to leave just a few thousand. The president says he'll make those two decisions, how many troops will stay throughout 2013 and how many U.S. troops will be in Afghanistan after 2014 in the coming months. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.